let's uh, pull up JK paper for you. Uh, this is a company that came out with their earnings for the third quarter and we've seen quite a turnaround in the bottom line. Uh, we've, uh, the company has posted a profit of uh, uh, 11.4 crore rupees versus a loss of nearly 40 crore rupees. That stock is higher by 6.5%. Their top line uh, total income uh, has grown 18.5% at 553.6 crore rupees. I spoke with Mr. V. Kumaraswamy, the CFO at JK Paper, and I began by asking him about the sales, which were up 18%. I asked whether there was an increase in volumes as well. All right, uh, so the volume increase in this quarter is by 21%. And since the there was a price reduction in this quarter, uh, compared to the, the corresponding uh, year quarter. So, the net increase what you see in the, uh, the, the sales value is 18 percent, but otherwise volumetric increase is 21 percent. Has the entire uh, expanded capacity in Orissa now come on board? Yeah, that Orissa plant we commissioned uh, last year and in fact, uh, the, the increase in the volume by 20 percent or in the if you see the previous uh, quarter as well we had an increase of something around 30 percent these volumetric increases are only because of the odisha plant uh, which has uh, been commissioned and re ramping up very well in fact our uh, new capacity in odisha the utilization is over 95 percent so it is uh, doing very well now what's the demand outlook for the upcoming six months See, in fact, uh, uh, in our three product segment uh, where we are present, uh, uh, the industry is growing on an average at 6 to 8 percent. But uh, if you see the packaging board, which is our one more segment where we are present, it is going with the double digit growth. On the writing and printing paper, it is growing at somewhere around 6 to 7 percent. Uh, but uh, looking into the strength of the brand, and our distribution network and our uh, the launching of the new branch in fact we could surpass the growth of the industry the industry is growing at 6 to 7 percent but we are consistently growing at almost 20 percent plus if you see the nine months our growth is somewhere around 26 percent so what's the outlook for the printing and notebook paper segment uh, let me let me give you one more uh, angle to this is that yes uh, the demand of writing and printing paper uh, in that main category also there is a subcategory of uh, which is the paper called the printing paper and also the notebook paper. So, we are not present in the notebook paper, we are predominantly present in the copier paper or a, uh, the paper which is used in the offices and elsewhere for, for the printers and the photocopying. So, and that, that segment, yes there is some cyclicity. Uh, in fact, the, the demand is very good up to the month of uh, April uh, or mid-May. From mid-May to June, there is some lullness because the schools, colleges are closed, the courts are closed. Uh, so, the only one and half month, there is some lullness in the demand. But otherwise, rest of the ten and half months in the year, your demand is very good. So, I mean, we are not impacted too much uh, because of uh, this cycle. And what's been the performance of the coated paper? Uh, see, uh, in the coated paper, our market presence and our market share is uh, very small. We are somewhere around 10 percent of the market. And uh, yes, there is a competition uh, from, from China and Indonesia and Korea, but again, uh, in the port cities, the competition is very intense and the price uh, competition and price sensitivity is very huge. But at the same time, when your presence is in the up country, your presence is in the interior part of the country, I mean, you, you have the advantage of your own distribution network and your prices, uh, prices are much better. In fact, my realization in the port city is lower and interior part it is much higher. Will realizations remain under pressure going ahead, given that competitive pressures uh, still remain? I would say that uh, to some extent, yes, uh, the price pressure is going to remain, but at the same time, 
our capacity which came uh, sometime in the the same quarter last year now predominantly the major quantity of our additional incremental capacity has been absorbed in the market and uh, yes there may be some pressure but we are able to inch up the prices in fact we corrected a partial price correction in the month of uh, january and we have increased our prices something around 1% in the month of february as well and these small or the, the the lot of the price corrections have been absorbed in the market and i don't foresee any difficulty in that price correction and in time to come when the demand supply scenario is is getting corrected there will be some more opportunities of the price corrections and what better margins did you post in the third quarter see uh, our our now the margin is 14.54% in this quarter when you compare this the the uh, the previous quarter or the previous year it was somewhere around uh, 9% and uh, 6% so that was the management of jk paper talking about the earnings